And what's up guys, it's Shadow Dragonic here, bringing you yet another Let's Play. This one is Dark Souls. I've been wanting to uh, do a Let's Play on this for a while. Um, I have played the game before, but I haven't actually beaten it completely. So, it's not blind, but uh, once I hit a certain point, it will be, I guess. Which is kind of far into the game, but... Um, I've been wanting to do a Let's Play of this and the other two Dark Souls games, which I actually have, and are still in the wrapping because I've never even played them yet. Those two will be completely blind once I get to them, but um, I suck at this game horribly, so <laughs> if you want an entertaining Let's Play of watching somebody die over and over and over again in Dark Souls, that will probably be my Let's Play. Um... There are a couple things that I want to note. First off, I am going to be going for the freaking dragon sword. The the dragon great sword or long sword or whatever it is uh, that you can get right away. And I really don't care what people say. Um, I do suck at the game. So any chance I can get for, you know, an easy pass, I'm going to take it. I am not a professional in any way uh, <laughs> with this game. So, uh, you know, I'm just throwing that out there now. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start a new game. Now, for the purpose of the Let's Play, I'm going to raise... I'm going to raise the brightness a little bit. Probably to about there. That should be alright. Uh, all this stuff is fun. All right, so enter name. Class. Um, I'm probably going to go with Honestly, I think I'm going to go with a Wanderer. Because he's only one strength off from a Knight. Um, gift. I'm going to go with the master key. I see no obvious difference between large upper body and large. That's fine. That is, that is creepy looking. He's got a creepy smile. Um, yeah, we'll just stick with commoner. Sure, why not? All 
Oh, I'm okay. Okay, to start game with this character. Yes, it is. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the day. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Right, well, I apologize for the snoring dog you hear, and if by any chance you uh, manage to hear some of the wicked wind that's going on outside, kind of in the middle of a bad storm. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate.
How nice of him to drop us a snack. Alright, so welcome to Dark Souls. The game that is infuriatingly infuriating, yet... Um... Quite enjoyable to play at the same time. It is one of the... Strangest combinations of... Like... Agonizing pain and fun that I've ever seen in my life. But it's one of those games that makes you want to smash your controller at times and also make you not able to really put it down. So yeah, we're very basic at the moment. We have a broken sword, or a sword hilt. And the object of the game is pretty much to kill stuff, collect souls, which is money, and... You know, fight your way to the end, I guess. I mean, there is a more in-depth story to it, but, um... I'm not really into the whole lore and everything of the game. I just play the game because it's a fun game to play. So I guess if you're truly interested in any of the lore, you can uh, look it up online. So we're in the undead asylum at the moment, where the dead are sent to await the end of the planet, or the end of the world. This is obviously a tutorial level. who, for whatever reason, by now don't know what's going on, uh, the bonfire is your save point, or your checkpoint. If you die, you will return to whatever bonfire you've rested at, um, or, I'm not sure if it's 100% true or not, I've never actually tested it, but apparently if you light a bonfire, you'll respawn at that bonfire without resting at it. But resting at a bonfire also resets any enemies that you previously killed, so, it's kind of a hit or miss. not open from this side. Oh, jeez. I don't even remember controls yet. That's not my, uh... Alright. Nice. Nothing like dying already. Oh, I gotta get used to the freaking controls again. So there's death number one already. And we're not even, like, past the freaking tutorial. Right, so that's dodge. I could have swore there was a, uh, I guess not. Alright, so B is dodge. That is important. Obviously, we can't fight this guy yet. We have to, you know, run past him. Which is easy enough when you, you know do it right the first time. We'll rest here anyway. Now when you die, you can, um... Let me just push 
shield on here. When you die, you can uh, recollect your your souls, because obviously when you when you die, you lose your souls. You can collect them if you go back to where you died. I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Nice, we got a scimitar. Obviously, I didn't have that many souls to begin with, so I'm not really all that fussed about it. Now, the one thing I'm going to have to get used to is parrying, because I was never very good at parrying. There's an item up there, we can't get that yet. That comes later. And that boulder's gonna come down when you attempt to go up here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be the guy who dropped the body down to us or not. I don't think it is, but... Oh, you. You're no hollow, hmm? Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family, Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Essentially, you're... Oh, and this. Nice. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. So the Estus flask is pretty much your healing item. Um... They ref it refills every time you go to a bonfire or rest at a bonfire, so. Yes, and there are ways to increase the amount of Estus you have. And as soon as I leave this room, that guy's going to kill himself. Or it should do. Yeah, there he goes. So now he is gone. Right. I gotta I gotta try the the parrying here. Let me see if I can Come on. Ah well. Something you have to time it just right. And I'm not very good with timing. Oh my god. There's a skeleton guy down here. And he killed me. Awesome. Ah, oh, jeez. This is going to be a very, very long, very long.
let's play. God. Alright, let's just get on with the freaking uh, tutorial boss. Awesome, and I failed that plunging attack. Surprisingly, I did okay there, killing the freaking asylum demon. Alright, well. Thankfully, he does not respawn. <laughs> when you uh, rest at a bonfire. Boss monsters don't, and some higher end enemies do not respawn. Right, now I know there are some things out here to collect before we move forward. I thought there were. Oh yeah, there's that. Soul of a Lost Undead. Basically a consumable soul. Um, you use it and it gives you more souls. And that over there is a bird nest with eggs in it, which become important later on. Uh, it does no good now. 
but later on it will become important. Alright, I guess that's it. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall to leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordra. Welcome to the Firelink Shrine, which is basically your hub for the majority of the game. Or at least for the first, like, half of the game. Yes, we know. Thank you. Now this bonfire is already, um, lit. We'll go ahead and rest here anyway. Uh, I'm not gonna level up yet. There are some things here to do. Obviously, you can talk to people. Um, we can go down this way and have access to... Our first store, I guess, or our first blacksmith, which a lot of people probably don't know about uh, right away. And this is a uh, firekeeper. And what you do is if you get firekeeper souls, you give them to her and she can reinforce your Estus flask. Which uh, gives you, you know, more Estus uses. Right, so first things first, uh, item collection. Nice, six fire bombs. Fire bombs are essentially what they say they are. They are explosives that you throw at enemies. Soul of the Lost Undead. Right, and if we drop down here, and go through here, there should be treasure chests. Yep. Cracked Red Eye Orb, now what they do is they allow you to invade another player's world, which I'm not going to be doing. Obviously this game has been out for a long time, and... I'm probably not going to be doing any online stuff with this game. Homeward Bones, uh, they are an item that you use that will automatically teleport you to the last bonfire you rested at. I thought there was more. Oh yeah, there's another one. Lloyd's Talisman. Now I don't think I can... Um What is Lloyd's Talisman considered? A, sh a shield? No? It's not a ring. Um. I 
the heck does I forget what Lloyd's Talisman does. Oh, there it is. Uh, prevents Estus recovery within a limited area. Oh, right. That's for online play, too. So I'm not worried about that. Now, as soon as I drop down here, those skeletons are going to come back to life and try and destroy me. And as of right now, we don't really have the uh, stats to be messing with them. I mean, we do, but we don't. I don't because I'm not that skilled at this game, so I'm not going to uh, even attempt. You can hear them. They're like, running behind me. As long as I rest here. Oh, it might not let me because those freaking skeletons are right there. Okay, there we go. That'll reset them then. Then I don't have to worry about them. So, we really want to be heading that way first. Uh, up into the undead bird. But we're going to go down here for a second. Just so I can show you that we have early access to a shop. Now in this game, souls are used to level up as well as purchase items. So you kind of have to... I don't want to say use things sparingly because obviously there's like an unlimited supply of souls. But... Uh, I guess depending on the situation, you know, will depend on what you actually want to use your souls for. Whether you want to use them to level up or use them to buy new items. Now this is New Londo Ruins, I believe. Soul of a Nameless Soldier. They give slightly more souls than a, a lost undead. Now, these guys won't mess with you. I mean, you can, uh, you can kill them if you really want to. But they're not going to harm you. grab these from uh, this thing here. This guy will have I an item called, um, oh man, what is it? Right, Transient Curse. And what Transient Curses are, are they allow you to kill ghosts, which are in this area. Um, we're not going to mess with them now, that's for a later date. Ooh, an S-Stock. Uh, not as good as my scimitar, sadly. I believe it's a parrying sword, though, if I'm not mistaken. Look at that guy just chilling. Right, so the guy you want to talk to is over here. Hmm? Well, this is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't pry. I'm Rickett of Vinheim. I was once an established smith, but look at me now. Can you believe it? Hmm? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, I've not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what made me the best in Vinheim. Right, so obviously we can repair stuff, we can reinforce stuff, uh, we can modify equipment, or we can purchase stuff. Now, I don't know... I don't think he really has anything to... No, he doesn't. Because he's a sorcerer, all he has is um, 
spells. But um, in order to modify equipment or reinforce stuff, uh, you need things called Titanite shards. And once you get higher up, you need you know higher things like Titanite chunks and Titanite slabs. And um, certain weapons require dragon scales and uh, you know stuff like that. But essentially, it increases the damage on your weapon. Uh, your weapons will get damaged uh, the more you use them and eventually break. So you can buy stuff called uh, repair powder, or find stuff called repair powder to repair them out in the field, or you can bring them to a smith to repair the stuff for you. Now, obviously my stuff is not uh, very broken at the moment. But we'll go ahead and repair it anyway, just for the sake of it. Now, I don't Goodbye, think, um... Keep your head on out there. You really helped break the monotony. I don't think I have, um... I believe I need a catalyst in order to cast spells. But I'm not really a magic user, so I'm probably not going to delve down that path at all. Ah, now interestingly, um, this is one of the areas you can use the master key. This will take us to a very high level area. Yeah, the Valley of Drakes. Now, we really don't want to be here. Uh, obviously, there are... There are Drakes we can fight here. However, this is also a shortcut to Blight Town. You can actually get in the back way to Blight Town from here, rather than going through the, the sewer system later on. Now, am I going to be able to... One wrong move and I'll slip off, so i got to be kind of careful. I don't really want to be uh, messing around in this area too much. Right, I can't go that way. I could have swore there was more stuff out here to explore. I mean, obviously I can go across the bridge here, but... Um, there are... Uh, Actually, that's the back way into Blake Town, isn't it? Right there, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Fatty ahead. Yeah, this is indeed uh, Blake Town, which is a place that you come later on. There are lots of uh, poisonous things here. Yeah, and that, that big guy. Those big guys. So we don't really want to be messing with these guys yet either. But um, we can come here very, very early if you get the master key. I think there's a couple other areas you can access early with the master key as well. But the back way into Blake Town will allow you to skip a lot of Blake Town. If you so choose to do so. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to Firelink Shrine. And then uh, head on to our regular path.
So I'm going to end this episode here, guys. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, you know, please give it a like. If you guys don't, uh, or if you guys enjoy my Let's Plays, don't hesitate to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Dark Souls. But until then, guys, later.